Hello, my fellow Nigerians. That is what we are saying. We should be careful of what we are doing today because tomorrow will judge us. You see, uh, all that is happening in Nigerian politics, we have to be careful in all we are doing. Ike Ekuremadu, a former deputy senator president of Nigeria, currently serving a 10 year prison sentence in the United Kingdom for human trafficking is embroiled in fresh legal challenges. The London Metropolitan Police have launched a new investigation against Ikure Mad, further complicating his uh, legal woes. This development was uh, revealed in a recent uh, documentary by Jude Jidong a renowned filmmaker and television host titled Daniel vs. Ikuremado. The documentary sheds light on Ikuremado's legal battles and the serious charges he faces. According to Jidong, the investigation is still in its early stage and details remain scarce as the authorities continue their inquiries. The first part of this two Part documentaries was uh, released on August 23, 2024, written and directed by Jidong. The documentary provides an uh, in-depth look into the case, offering viewers exclusive uh, insights into the intricate legal and uh, personnel uh, dimensions of the matter. The documentary features interviews with key figures involved in the case, including British prosecutors, police officers, and uh, the family of the victim, making it a groundbreaking piece of uh, investigative journalism. journalism. The documentary unveils that uh, the ongoing investigation may be connected to Kuremado's previous uh, conviction under the UK's uh, Modern Slavery Act. In an email featured in the documentary, Alexandra Mick, senior communications manager for the Metropolitan Police, disclosed that um, detectives from the Specialist Crime Division had arrested a woman on November 8, 2022, on the suspicion of a conspiracy to exploit individuals for organ harvesting. The woman, who is in her 50s, was later released under investigation with inquiries still ongoing. Mix statement highlighted the sensitive nature of the investigation, explaining the police decision to refrain from participating in the documentary. Ekure Madu's legal troubles first made headlines when he Along uh, his wife, Beatrice, and uh, a medical uh, professional, Obina Obe, Obeta, was convicted in the UK for attempting to harvest organs from a young Nigerian man. The victim referred to as Daniel in court, and uh, in the documentary, the protest to protect his uh, identity was lured to the UK under the false pretense of uh, gaining employment. However, he was subjected to horrific uh, exploitation, leading to Ikuremadu's uh, historic conviction under the Modern Slavery Act. Daniel vs. Uh, Ikuremadu captures the dramatic fall of uh, Senator Ikuremadu from his uh, position as a powerful Nigerian political uh, figure to a convicted fellow felon in a British prison. He dis the documentary also exploits the broader implications of uh, this, this case, particularly in the context of uh, human trafficking and uh, the exploitation of uh, vulnerable individuals. The documentary is uh, unique in its uh, approach, blending elements of uh, a legal uh, thriller with uh, investigative uh, journalism shot in both Nigeria and uh, 
the United Kingdom. It presents a comprehensive view of uh, the case, offering viewers access to critical uh, players on both sides of the legal battle. The series' first episode has already garnered signif significant uh, attention, with many praising its uh, thorough research and uh, compelling narrative. The case of Ike Kuremadu has uh, become a consciousnary tale in Nigeria and uh, beyond. Uh, the case highlighting the dark side of a uh, human uh, trafficking and the uh, organ harvesting it has uh, spark, sparked widespread outrage and uh, read, raised important uh, questions about the role of a uh, powerful individuals in uh, perpetuating uh, such crimes the documentary not only chronicles the criminals personal uh, downfall, but also serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing fight against human trafficking. As the new investigation unfolds, it remains to be seen how this uh, latest uh, development will impact Kuremadu's uh, current uh, sentence, legal. Legal experts suggest that uh, it's, if the investigation results in new charges, a Kuremadu could face additional prison time or other legal consequences. The outcome of uh, this investigation will undoubtedly, undoubtedly, undoubtedly have a significant uh, implication, both for a Kuremadu and uh, the broader fight against human trafficking. A Kuremadu who once uh, wielded cons Dribble influence in Nigerian politics now finds himself at the center of one of the most high profile criminal cases in recent history. His uh, conviction and the subsequent uh, investigation have drawn attention to the issue of organ trafficking, a crime that often goes unnoticed but has devastating effects on uh, its victims. The case has also highlighted the international uh, nature of uh, such crimes, with uh, victims often trafficked across borders and uh, subjected to unimaginable uh, suffering. This is what we are saying, my Niger fellow Nigerians. The way the politicians, they behave and act, they act as if they own the whole world. Now, this is what is happening today. You see, we have to be careful and know what we do today because tomorrow we tell. As the Catholic Bishop of uh, Sokoto Diocese says, that is uh, her son, Matthew Kuka. On Wednesday, observed that uh, nearly one year into the administration of uh, Bola Tunubu, Nigerians are still rating in different uh, levels of pain. The ferry clergyman spoke on uh, Wednesday after he emerged from a closed door meeting with uh, Tunubu at the Asuro presidential uh, villa, Abuja, fielding questions from uh, newsmen who had asked him to assess the first year of uh, the Tunubu government. He said, even though the period is such a short time to judge the administration, citizens had uh, found themselves in a difficult uh, situation. He noted, however, that the pain is in intended, blaming it nevertheless on uh, government policies, which he hoped would uh, be amended for the sake of uh, the welfare of the people. According to him, Reviewing such policies is necessary because the essence of a government is to guarantee the welfare and the security of the people. However, he highlighted the need for national renewal as he stressed that the government should continue to 
built on the things that is, is uh, believes it is doing well. Urging citizens to commit themselves to nation building. The clergy man said, I am sure many people will tell you that uh, one year is not enough to make a judgment. However, from where all stand, we know that we are all in a very difficult situation. Nigerians are in various uh, levels of pain, and uh, they are pains that uh, are unintended, but they are the results of a certain policy decisions that uh, hopefully with time can be amended in order to serve the welfare of the people. Because I believe that uh, the essence of the government is to guarantee the welfare and guarant and security of uh, ordinary citizens. I believe that uh, the times that we are in now are very difficult times and uh, nobody should be under any illusion, but they are also time for re renewal. We just need to commit ourselves to the fact that uh, building a good society takes a lot of time. It is not something that is done in one lifetime. And for me, the most important thing is to continue on the, the building blocks of the things that we think are being done well. My argument has uh, always been that uh, the government needs to very quickly improve the quality of uh, communication so that uh, Nigerians can at least get a sense of uh, how long it, it is going to be before food is ready. On the political crisis in River State, Bishop Kuka admonished Nigerians not to worry themselves over the rivalry among politicians, saying that uh, they knew how to resolve their problems. He hoped that uh, the issues would be resolved sooner rather than later as he noted that the state is very dear to his heart. My people, this is what we are saying. We have to be careful in what we are doing. We should remember to put the masses at heart that whatever you do today, a story will tell tomorrow. So it's better we do the needful so that people will say good of us in future. My people, my people, in the comment section, say your opinion, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. God bless Nigeria. Thanks and God bless. Amen.